Hey guys, so I'm going to demonstrate um, what's called paradoxical breathing uh, pattern, and then I'm also going to demonstrate diaphragmatic breathing pattern. So um, just going back to the balloon analogy again, here would be the top of the diaphragm right here, and then this would be the bottom pelvic floor, and this would be just generally in this area right through here. So when I take a breath in, my diaphragm should drop down, pelvic floor accommodates by dropping down slightly as well. So when I inhale in, everything drops down. If it drops down, it also must expand a little bit. So we get this expanding forward and sideways. Paradoxical breathing is when I actually inhale and I lift up. So I get this diaphragm moving up. So paradoxical kind of just means opposite. So I'm getting that opposite movement occurring. And so I'm gonna demonstrate in the next two videos what paradoxical breathing looks like and then also what diaphragmatic breathing looks like. So why is paradoxical breathing something that we want to avoid? If when I'm taking that breath in, again, I want that movement to happen downwards and back up again. When I get this nice play and movement, I am much more resilient in my body. I'm able to absorb pressures much better. If I'm learning, if I have a habit of breathing in and coming up, I'm never getting that downward movement onto pelvic floor. If I'm not getting that downward movement onto pelvic floor, pelvic floor has a way harder time activating to lift back up. So by allowing accommodation down, pelvic floor can then counter react to come up. So I get this nice movement up and down to help support my body.